One, Ellipse's A Vertex Canvas Instruction. It allows drawing of a regular polygon or an arc based on them. Two, this article shows regular polygons with different number of size. They have many vertices on a circle. Three, however, in KeyV we can make polygons based on an ellipse. The area of an ellipse is smaller than a similarly sized rectangle. Four, this shows an ellipse as well as what an ellipse approximated by an equals eight segments looks like. We can see that as an increases, the shape approximates a true ellipse. The default in KeyV is 180. Five, these are the formulas for X and Y. These math formulas assume the center is zero, zero. Thus, after calculations are done, there has to be translation by X of A and Y of B. The width is 2A and height is 2B. Note, the angles in key V are different than those in math. In key V, the zero degree point corresponds to the 90 degree point in math. Six, this shows an example when the number of segments is six. We have six angles and we have to find six X and Y coordinates. The first two are calculated here. After calculation, we have to translate the first point becomes x of 800 and y of 300 after the translation. 7. This Python program shows the root widget is a grid layout. 8. For the grid layout, we have four columns. In this program, we use the set directive. No directives look like comments, but they are really commands. It sets a variable to an expression. Here, we just set them equal to different constants. These constants refer to what arc to cut for the figures in row 2 and row 3 of the grid. The window is cleared by painting with white color. 9. These instructions define the first two ellipses. We set a color for the row. The first ellipse has n equals 180, which is the default number of segments. The next one has five segments, which will be a pentagon. 10. The next two ellipses in the first row have segments of four and three. This gives shapes of a square and an equilateral triangle. 11. First, the color is set for the second row. These two arcs are created. For the arcs, we have to give the start and the end angle. We use default number of segments, 180 and 5, for the two ellipse arcs. The rest of the KV file corresponds to the other six ellipse arcs following the same pattern. 12. This is the result. We have three rows and four columns. Rows 2 and 3 are arc shapes, while row 1 has the default angles 0 and 360 to form a complete circle. By changing the size of the window manually, we can get ovals and shapes based on them. For the arc, the number of segments corresponds to the number of lines that approximate the circular portion. 13. You can find additional information including the source code at pythonmobile.blogspot.com.